Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and today I want to show you how to use the Zoom H1N as an on-camera microphone. Most of the time when using a Zoom, you record onto the built-in micro SD card by either holding it you know, as a microphone or you can connect it with a lavalier mic to connect the lavalier input and use it and then use it as a lavalier mic and again record onto the built-in I mean onto the SD memory card of the Zoom H1. However, uh, a lot of vloggers like to use on-camera microphones because it's just more convenient. On-camera microphone allows you to record the sound right onto the camera and if you have the correct camera you can actually do that with the Zoom H1. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, you're going to need two items. Two items. The first thing is uh, you're going to need a hot shoe adapter. So this thing right here. This will basically, uh, and I'll have a link to where to buy all the two items you need below this video. So if you want to get the two items, just uh, check the links below. Okay. So this uh, plugs into the, the quarter 20 slot under the zoom and it creates a hot shoe. And the hot shoe allows you to mount it onto the hot shoe of the camera. In this case, the Canon M6. So put it on like that and yeah so that basically creates your cool little vlogging setup really now if your camera does not have a microphone input this will work like this this will work the same so basically you you hit record on your camera then you hit record on the zoom and the Zoom will be recording the audio either from the XY mic or if you hook up a lavalier or from your lavalier. And then your camera will record the audio and the video on here. And then what you do is uh, you just sync the two together in post-production. But if your camera has microphone input like this M6 does have, all you need now is a patch cable. So this is a, a patch cable. And it's basically just exactly that. Uh, make sure you get the right one. Uh, and again, I'll have the links below this video on it. You're looking for a stereo patch cable. So in other words, there are two ports, like two, two little wires, two, two little black marks. You want two and two. Uh, for cell phone, you need a different one. So what you do is you just plug, plug one end to the microphone input on your camera and the other end, plug it onto the headphone output, the headphone. You don't plug it into the lab output. The head, that's the, the green side. So you plug that into there. And what it does is it will, the zoom will then send the signal, the audio signal into your camera using a line in. Now you just have to match the level. So to match the level, match the level, first thing you do is you turn on your camera here and I'll think I'll, let me set this up. The first thing you do is you go to the menu and we go to the microphones here. And first thing you gotta do is you need to go to, make sure you're on manual recording, go to the record level and set that to one notch above one. So one notch above one. The Zoom H1 has a really, really cool way for you to match the level between the zoom and the, uh, and the camera. See, one of, one of the things you can do, it can output a minus six dB, 1000 kilohertz, 1000 hertz test tone. To turn it on, you press the stop button and the next track button together and now you notice it, it is doing a one a test tone is playing at minus six decibel. So what you do is now we go back and look at our camera. You can see the test tone is playing into our our camera. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the level so it's also at minus six dB as well. There's two ways for me to do it. I can adjust the levels on my camera, or I can adjust the volume level on the Zoom H1. If given a choice, always choose the volume level on the Zoom H1 because the Zoom H1 has a much higher quality preamp. It will, it's just cleaner. 
the preamp on the Canon or any digital camera is quite noisy, quite noisy. So you want to leave that as low as possible. So right now, so what I'm going to do is I am going to increase the volume on, on the zoom. So I'm going to increase the volume until the meter hits minus six decibel. So here you go. We're increasing by like you suggesting now it's not going any higher. Okay. Not going any higher. See, uh, the reason for that is because this meter on the Canon is not that accurate, not that accurate. Uh, the other way of doing it is that you to hit the record button on, on your Canon and actually record the test tone and then bring that into, uh, into your editing program like audacity and audacity will give you a correct meter. So what I would do is I would record it and adjust the volume at various levels, say level 40, then level 50, then level 60 and 70. And it will record that onto the camera. And then I will bring it into audacity and I will look at the decibel reading. And then once I see minus six, that is, that is the exact level. Now, if you are using a Canon M6, I can tell you right now that the correct volume level is 68. Okay. So if you have it, 68 is your volume level and it will match right up to make a recording. You do not have to hit record on this. You can just hit record and just start talking. We like regular vlogging camera and the audio will be coming from the zoom. will go right into the camera. So this is an example of the audio you can get from the Zoom H1. Uh, I have it attached to the Canon M6 on this hot shoe. And this is very much like, a, you know, if you don't want to use a, a Rode Video Mic Pro, you already have a Zoom H1. Uh, you can use it as an on-camera mic. So this is an example of the audio quality. Now, if you want, you could hit record as well here. And then if you do that, then it will be recording a copy onto the Zoom H1's SD card and it'll be sending the audio to be recorded onto the camera as well. So this gives you a, a safety track in case, you know, uh, the recording on this is bad or you want a higher quality recording because like I said, the Zoom H1 records at a higher resolution. It records at 24 bit up to 96 kilohertz whereas the Canon audio records at 16 bit up to 40, 44 kilohertz, I believe. So much higher resolution and also the noise floor, the preamp, much higher quality preamp. Whereas if you're rubbing the sound into that, it'll be a, the, the, uh, the audio quality will be a little lower and the noise floor will be a little higher. So if you, but if you're just doing voice talking, vlogging, I find that it is perfectly fine to just send the audio directly into the camera. If you are recording higher quality stuff where you need better sound, say at a concert, then you also may want to hit record on the zoom as well. And then use a higher quality recording and instead of what's recorded on that. So, uh, the cost of this system, I believe the, this, the shotgun mount is like $3. And this cable is like $5. So less than $10. If you already have a zoom, there was no need for you to buy a, a shotgun mic. Like a, there's no need for you to spend another hundred and how many dollars for like a Rode Video Mic Pro. This zoom will do just a good job. Plus it has the advantage of recording a cleaner copy onto the built-in SD card. So if you already have a zoom and you have a digital camera with mic input, this is the easiest, this is the easiest, least expensive way to turn your Zoom H1 or H1N into an on-camera microphone. So I said, uh, all the links for the products to do this little hack is below this video. And uh, if you like it, uh, please give me a thumbs up and like and share my video. And if you're brand new, please subscribe to my channel. It does help me a lot. See you guys next time.